Hey there guys, my name is Daniel, welcome back to my channel Mortal Dans and today I just want to do a quick first impressions review of my new adventure riding jacket, the Moscow Moto Basilisk. So I've done around about three to 4,000 kilometers in this jacket now, so I thought it was about time I told you what I think about it. Um, so I'll start off by telling you why I upgraded and the main reason was my old RST jacket was around about six to seven years old. It was starting to fall apart at all the seams. It was no longer waterproof and it did not vent in the summer. So basically the, the waterproof liner on that was on the inside of the jacket so when you opened the vents nothing happened and it was non-removable as well so you were stuck with it. So when I was looking for a jacket I wanted something to be 100% waterproof. That was the main number one thing I was looking for and because I no longer wanted to carry waterproofs around with me. So number one waterproof. Number two was better venting in the summer. That was a big one for me, especially out here in New Zealand. Uh, we can go from freezing minus two, minus three in, this, in the winter where I am to 36, 37, 38 degrees Celsius in the summer. And the sun is an absolute scorcher here. It's brutal. So I need something that's got good venting. Um, I was looking at a few jackets, um, you know, the climb, you know, the, the usual suspects, the climb jackets, the Rucka, the Revit, um, but I ended up on Moscow Moto. Um, one of the big reasons was they had this Foo Basilisk one, which was basically an F up, and they ordered the wrong colour. So they had uh, however many units of the wrong coloured jacket. Now Moscow Moto's normal colour is a light a light blue and a grey, whereas this is a dark blue and it's got orange zippers. So this jacket was a lot cheaper than the normal one. This jacket cost me 400 American in the Black Friday sale last year, uh, compared to the standard one which was 599. So that was a massive saving and one of the main reasons I went for this jacket. Now looking online, it is 100% waterproof and it's got all the vents I could ever want. The one thing I was unsure of at the time was the was that the jacket had no armour. Now I'd never had a jacket like that before. It's more of like a motocross style jacket. Um, so you wear separate armour underneath it. Now I was unsure on this at the time, uh, but a big thing that I, swayed me on this jacket was the ability to completely remove it in the summertime and just ride with my armour on. Mainly you would do that on dirt tracks or off-road, you wouldn't really ride in the pavement just with the armour on. Um, so that was a big reason why I, uh, I went for this in the end. So like I said, 400 American, which turned out to be about 700 New Zealand, and they offer free international shipping on all clothing garments. So really that was a, a decent, decent buy in my opinion. So that's the reason why I went for this jacket. So let me just pull on off the road up here and I'll tell you the pros and cons of the jacket and what I overall think about it. So I'll start by showing you some of the features of this jacket. I'll give you a wee spin around and let you see what it looks like. Now this is a size small. I'm five foot six and this jacket fits me pretty well. Now going by the measurements on their website, I was bang in the middle of everything. And the only thing size wise is the sleeves are a wee bit long, but when you're riding, it's actually about right. Um, so the jacket is got adjustable cuffs. It's got vents on the arms. It's got two big chest vents either side and two exhaust vents on the rear. Uh, it's got two pockets on the front, which are good sized. and it's got a couple of pockets on the inside as well. Pocket in here and a wee pocket going down there and same on this side. One going down there and a bigger, a bigger pocket in here. So it's got plenty of pockets and plenty of vents. You can see all this um, super fabric on the arms and the shoulders which is a very high abrasion resistance material, uh, which is good to see. It does also have this little blue thing here, 
I had to actually email uh, Moscow Motor and ask what it is. You press this wee tab in and there's a wee prick there. And that is for removing SIM cards from your phone if you're a world traveller. I probably will never get a use out of that, but I don't know, I suppose it's handy to have. It does also have um, what I would call a snow scout. Which clicks in here. Like that. Uh, it's supposedly to stop drafts getting up here, but I haven't had any problems with drafting or any need to use that to be honest. It seems a bit of a, well I suppose it's, it could be handy, could possibly end up going skiing one day in this jacket. You do have adjustable uh, toggles here and on the collar just to pull it in and out. And there's big Velcro straps on the side here so you can you can pull it in and pull it tight. Now I'll start with the cons of this, this jacket because that list is a wee bit shorter than the pros. One of my main annoyances with this jacket is when it's zipped up, this collar here it rubs on my neck. I had a big red spot after I did the North Island 1600 and also when I'm turning my head like this when I'm riding it catches on my chin strap of the helmet and so I find I have to ride like this and move my head like that to get around it. It is very annoying when you're riding and it hasn't changed at all. I thought it would hopefully wear in but when it's zipped up this collar it's really hard. Uh, next up would be the sizing. Now I was bang in the middle of all the specs including arm length and I find the arms just a wee bit too long. Like I said it's not a massive issue when you're riding but uh, when you're off the bike, it is a bit annoying. And the jacket is a wee bit on the tight side. Um, after I first put it on, I was thinking I'd possibly go up to the medium, but the medium is even a longer arm, so that wouldn't work for me. Now I wear the Liat, um, I think it's Liat Airlight armor underneath, so chest, back, shoulders, and elbow protector. Um, so that's quite a small armour in my opinion, and the jacket is quite tight. Now I can get, I wear a base layer in my armour, and then I get this very light um, down jacket on underneath. I can't fit any more than that underneath this jacket, it's just way too tight when I'm riding. So yeah, I can fit three layers under there, including the armour. Uh, that's not a massive issue, but it is a downside. Ideally the jacket could have been made just a wee bit bigger because it was made to fit round armour. And like I said, my armour is probably one of the smallest armours that you would get. If I took the chest protector out it probably would help. Um, but it came with the armour and, it, and it's, I think it's actually quite a good idea to have a chest protector. Uh, next up is going to be the venting. Now while it does have good venting, um, when you're riding, this vent here doesn't really stay open to be honest. Same with this one. When you're riding in the riding position, generally the flaps cover it. So you're not actually getting that much airflow through you, which is a, is a big downside really, because I was kind of hoping, um, you know, I'd get heaps and heaps of airflow through this jacket, but you, you really don't, not through the vents anyway. Um, it is a good size vent there, it's just when you're sitting on the bike riding, it tends to be more closed than open. You do feel airflow going through there, but it's not anywhere near as much as what I'd hoped. And that brings me on to the next downside, which kind of coincides with that one, and that's just that this event material is very breathable. So even though the vents don't work, um, that's kind of a pro as well, I suppose, that the event material is very breathable. So in the hotter temperatures, it's good, but also in the colder temperatures, it's not so good. And the fact that I can't put any much more layers on underneath means it's quite a cold jacket, really not one for winter riding at all. For my needs, I know the jacket's probably not designed for that, but for my needs it's just that's where the jacket is lacking. So another negative on this jacket, and it's it's not really a negative, it's more of a niggly thing, is the fact that the zipper's on the wrong side. So the zipper is on my right side, which I mean it's not a it's not a problem, it's just a bit more of an annoyance. It's the only piece of clothing I've ever had that's got a zipper on my right. And it's also got two zippers, which is a bit weird. So you can zip it up and then open the bottom. I don't know, is that for doing curtsies? I'm not sure. I don't really get that. I don't know why they have that there. Um, really, you would want to just see you know, your normal bottom piece and then the zipper on the correct side, which would be this side. I say it's not a massive issue, but it does something that it does annoy me. That's about it for the negatives of this jacket. Let's start. Let's talk about the pros. We'll start off with um, 
the biggest thing this jacket, one of the main reasons I bought it, is it's 100% waterproof on the outside. It's made of the Event Expedition waterproof memory on the outside. Now I've ridden this, I haven't ridden it in a, I haven't ridden in a massive downpour, but I have ridden in constant drizzle for three, four, five hours straight, and I didn't, I was bone dry. Um, whether that I would have to put a waterproof oversuit in my old jacket, whereas now I don't have to with this one. So that is a massive positive for me. The next positive is something that I haven't actually done with this jacket yet, and that is to remove it and store it on the bike. This jacket is very lightweight and can be taken off and rolled up very small. And when you do that, you could store it on the bike and just ride with your armor on. Now, the only real place I would ride with that is off-road, and I can see that being a massive benefit. And one of the reasons I bought it was for that reason. I just haven't um, managed to use it for that yet. Hopefully, uh, we're coming into winter now, so it won't happen in the winter, but hopefully in next summer, I could possibly go up and do the Molesworth, which is 200 plus Ks, and I could take this off and ride just with my armor on, which will be fantastic. So next up on the pros is all the pockets I mentioned earlier. I think they're all good sized pockets, they're well placed, and they are, um, there's not too many pockets so you fill them with crap, but there's just enough to put in what you need. I think it's a, a really well designed jacket in that regards. I think this jacket looks really good, and especially with the, the basilisk pants on there. And I do especially like this Foo Basilisk color range. I know it's not their actual color range, but this was another reason I bought it. Um, I really like that dark blue and the orange. I think it looks really good on. And I think the jacket could almost pass as a non-motorcycle jacket. If you take your armor off underneath, you could wear this around town and you wouldn't look like an absolute numpty where most bike jackets you would. So another pro of this jacket would be the ability to, it's a pro anacon this, this one actually, it fits in both, in both sides. I can open these vents while riding, the, the chest vents, and even though they don't make much difference, they do make a small difference. Um, I can, however, open these ones. Um, now I think that's mainly because the length of the the, the sleeves mean when I'm riding they bunch up a bit so it, I can't actually easily open them and close them. Same with on the back, I can't I can't get my hand up to reach them. But if we're on the, the main streak and Diane's behind me, she can open the back ones and close them no problem while I'm riding. It's just the, the arm ones, I would need to stop and actually stretch my arm out to open them and close them. Um, that's not a massive issue, but it would be good if I could um, open and close them while riding. Even It'd be good if I could open and close them all while riding. So that's, that's a pro and a con that. Um, I, it's good how I can open these ones. It's not good how I can't open these ones. So last on the the pro side of this um, is mainly Moscow Motor themselves. Their customer service is, is really good. So I live in, so because I live in New Zealand, the shipping from America is actually quite expensive. And the fact that they offer free returns if no quibble free returns if the sizing's wrong. I think that's a fantastic, um, a fantastic example of how they stand by their product. Right guys, that's about it for the Moscow Moto Basilisk jacket. Um, like I said, it's early days yet, um, but for the price of it, I certainly hope it's gonna last me many years to come. My last jacket lasted six, six to seven years, and that was a third of the price of this jacket. So I'm hoping this jacket lasts just as long, if not longer than that. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with it. A couple of small niggly things that do annoy me, but uh, overall, I think the cons, the pros, so overall, I think the pros certainly do outweigh the cons in this jacket. Uh, so I hope this uh, quick review helped you decide if you're thinking about getting it. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. See you later.